QA Madness. What types of testing to automate? Manual software testing is by no means obsolete. However, it is not always sufficient as a single approach to delivering high-end products. Supporting manual effort with automation is often a good idea, but only if it comes from careful thought and planning. In this video, I will explain how to select the right test cases for automation. Let's begin. To get the most benefit from automated testing, define which tests apply to the following criteria. Frequently run for multiple builds. Cover critical functionality and high-risk conditions. Cover different hardware and software platforms. Are tedious and slow to run manually. Involve multiple datasets in a data-driven framework. Deliver an exact pass or fail result. After you have a list of cases that match these criteria, you can start creating small logical tests. Remember that large and complex tests can be cumbersome to edit and debug. As a result, they are difficult to maintain and do not deliver the expected benefit. Usually, it makes sense to automate unit integration, functional, UI, API, and regression testing. Let's take a closer look at each of these types. Unit testing focuses on small parts of the code logic. It checks the code functionality without having any dependencies. Ideally, unit tests should make up the biggest portion of the automated suite. They should be executed every time a piece of code is changed or added. Running unit tests is a task for developers. Integration testing should be the next step for automation. It explores the interactions between several units after developers merge them into a piece of functionality. Automating integration tests allows detecting any errors quickly before the units make up even more complex functionality. Functional testing focuses on the end user's journey. Our task is to make sure that the software provides the correct output to each and every set of actions. Automate functional tests that mimic the most common workflows. For example, it can be the creation of a new account, resetting a password, going through a purchase process, and so on. Automated functional tests can be implemented the moment you have a working and stable user interface. Automated UI testing is quicker and more accurate than manually clicking through the interface. It is possible to create scripts that simulate a user's journey through the application, allowing us to verify UI controls and data outputs. UI automation significantly increases the test coverage while minimizing the testing effort. API testing deals with the business logic of the software. It does not involve a check of the UI or source code. You can run API tests every time a build is compiled. Automating these test cases allows you to quickly detect connection issues between systems, missing or duplicated functionality, and multi-threading problems. It also helps to determine if there are performance flaws as the response time between API should typically be very high. Regression testing takes place before the release of a new product or its updated version. In other words, the team runs regression tests every time after altering the code. Being highly repetitive, the regression testing suite is the first in line for automation. The goal of automated testing is not to replace manual activities, it is meant to support and improve the whole testing effort. When done right, automation allows for quicker feedback to development, detection, and resolution of issues. Automated testing should run in parallel with manual testing as a combined approach. Only successfully managing both will help you to end up with a good software product. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel to find useful guidelines and tips in the future.